Hello and welcome to 3D Printonics. In today's video, we will show you how to set up the new Z axis which is provided with Workbee CNC router from 3D Printonics. The old Z axis uh, allowed you to only cut a material of thickness up to 30 to 35 millimeters maximum. But we have modified the Z axis now which is provided with the machine. So this new Z axis will allow you to cut maximum of 80 to 85 mm thick material using your CNC. So we will see how to set it up. So this is how you will receive your machine. So first step is you have to remove this poly wrap completely. Once you have removed the polythene completely, you will use your allen key which is provided in the accessories and you will loosen these two screws, number one and number two. These will be tight when you receive your machine, so you have to just loosen them enough. You can also use the short side of the allen key to loose them. Do not remove them completely, otherwise the T-nuts will fall down and you will have a difficult time to again insert those, those T-nuts. So best is just loosen this, this screw and this screw and on the other side also there are two similar brackets and their screws also you have to loosen. So they just have to be loose so that we can move this whole Z axis up and down manually. In our third step we will move this entire Z axis upwards. Make sure that since you have not installed the Z axis stepper motor here, this plate along with this router will move downwards. So that is not an issue. So we have to move this C beam. So just hold it from the center from the bottom and just move it upwards like this. So this entire C beam has to be moved. So this plate might come down but that is not a problem because we have not installed a Z motor here which can be installed later on. So you have to move this C beam upwards. Now you can see that here we have installed two screws at the bottom of the C beam. So once you move this entire C beam upwards these two screws will fit in these in this cut here you can see like this 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 is how the screws will fit and you have to make sure that these screws are fitting in these cuts in this plate and you also have to check manually that this plate that this plate and this plate is flushed with each other they have to be at the same level Otherwise your Z axis will be will not be 90 degree to your bed. So you have to check manually or with your finger you can just check that this plate and this plate is flushed with each other and these screws are fully inserted in this cut. So now you can see that your C beam is now it is this plate is not flushed with this one so when you push this C beam up so this is how the plate will go and then you have to do slight adjustment and feel with your fingers so that this plate this edge is flush with each other right and as shown earlier the screws two back screws they are fitted in their slots In the next step, once you have flushed the C-beam, you will first tight these two screws from the back of the CNC if you see. There are these two screws. You will push this C-beam upwards, flush the plate as shown earlier and then you will use the Allen key. First you will properly tighten these two screws. After that, the bottom two screws can also be tightened easily from the front of the machine. You can use the shorter side of the allen key and from the front you have to fully tight these screws. 
the bottom screws and the top screws at the back has to be fully and properly tightened but make sure that you do not strip the head of the screw now in the last step you will tighten this screw and this screw on the right side and same two screws on the left hand side you will tighten so make sure that these are fully and properly tightened and this whole z axis should not move front and back